a national consortium of universities and Crown Research Institutes in New Zealand that are working together to transform scientific discoveries into new business. So what that basically means is we've got all of these organisations that are probably competing for students and research funding and they're actually working together to commercialise the best possible research discoveries with commercial promise to maximise benefit for New Zealand. We're here tonight to celebrate the success of the Emerging Innovator Program and to thank the Norman F. and Barry Foundation for their enabling and financial support. The Emerging Innovator Program is an exciting initiative that we developed 18 months ago and it's about finding those entrepreneurial scientists out there around New Zealand that have got a little bit of that commercial DNA and that entrepreneurial spark and it's all about wrapping around as much support and coaching around these people as possible so that we can maximise their chances of commercial success. As the trustees, we're absolutely delighted about uh, the uh, success that's gone on here. Very impressed, very great game. It's something that a, a group of committed individuals with sufficient financial resources can actually do that's good for the country. Supporting these early stage unproven researchers who, who we see have a potential and an aptitude and a desire to look in the commercial direction for their careers and their development uh, is not something that happens inside the research organisations at the moment at all really. So that's really unique and some of the results we've seen are, are just fantastic. Kiwi science and innovation plays an absolute central role in our future prosperity as a country. There's huge economic opportunity for us in that, and science sits right at the centre of it. And programs like this one at KiwiNet, this Emerging uh, Innovator Program, is teaching and encouraging our young scientists and engineers to learn how to reach really high. If you want to do something transformative for the economy, for technology, for people, you've got to imagine the unimaginable and then you've got to figure out how to get there. The best piece of advice I can give is don't mess around with small ideas, don't mess around with small businesses. Uh, go, go big and go after the big problems and build the big companies. For a lot of people that's the hardest thing to get over. The fact that to succeed you have to fail sometimes. So, and I've failed a lot along the way, but from that we've learnt a lot and now, now we're at the tipping point. We needed to get a piece of data to um, exemplify our patents and this funding enabled me to fund some crucial people to do that work. And since we've got this funding, and um, we've been able to leverage of it and get further funding through KiwiNet, Tier 2 funding, to build a prototype device, which we're hoping to form the basis to leverage off to get um, a spun-out uh, company out of it. It was a fantastic opportunity and it's totally changed the way that I look at everything. Um, every time I do anything now I'm thinking, how can we do this? How can we scale it up? Is it going to be translatable? Is it going to be commercial? Before this, I, every time I was doing science, I used to have one question in my head. Is this an interesting question to find an answer to? And that used to be my motivation for digging further in. But after this program, the question I ask is, uh, is this important? Is this relevant? How can I, will I be able to apply this into the future and change and impact people's lives with it? So the questions, the motivations have changed. The KiwiNet Emerging Innovator Program really opened the door for me to, to move out of academic, scientific, basic, fundamental research into applying some of my work into the real world and, and making a, a, a difference. But as a researcher, it feels really good to get my science into market because um, I feel like I'm having an impact on the world and this is what I've always really wanted to do. Let's keep scaling up what we're doing because we started off really well and now we need to keep building momentum, keep growing our entrepreneurship, keep taking our science to the world and driving commercial success for New Zealand that's going to drive our future prosperity.